good morning my dear students how are you all hope everybody is good stay safe stay home okay chalo hum khel shuru karenge today we are going to discuss some more important questions for je pattern get ready okay chalo what is our first question today <clears throat> the circle with center 4 comma minus 1 and touching x axis is center with the coordinates 4 comma minus 1 and touching x axis is and touching x axis is okay here first important point is which option containing the center as 4 comma minus 1 Four options are provided. Usme se, koon sa option containing of center as four comma minus one? Let us check. Okay. Here, two g is how much? Two g is minus four, and two f is two. So center how much? Center minus g comma minus f. That is four comma. Minus one. How much it up? Two g is minus eight. Two g is minus eight. So g is minus four. Minus g is four. Four comma. Two f is two. F is one. Minus f is minus one. Center is four comma minus one. Here also same minus eight x plus two y. Here also same minus eight x plus two y same center you may get same center you may get four comma minus one. Here also same center c equals to four comma minus one and fourth option also containing same center that is c equals to four comma minus one. So what we have to do now? What we have to do now? All the four options are satisfying the center as four comma minus one. Yeah, one more important point is there. Our circle is touching x-axis. Our circle is touching x-axis. What is the condition if a circle touches x-axis? Are you remembered? That is g square equals to c. Simply check g square equals to c. Here, two g is minus eight. Minus g is four. G square is sixteen equals to fourteen. This is wrong. Okay, and come, come to second option. Here, g square is, g square is sixteen, and c also sixteen. Here it is satisfying. Right? Is it clear? Very simple question. Okay. चल ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन द सर्किल एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर माइनस टू ए एक्स माइनस टू ए वाई प्लस ए स्क्वेर इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस सर्किल इज टचेस एक्सेस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट्स एट विच पॉइंट्स The circle x square plus y square minus 2ax minus 2ay plus a square equals to zero touches axis of coordinates at which point? Okay, is it clear? Right. If you observe in given four options, in first two options there is a origin. If a circle passes through origin. If a circle passes through origin, constant remains zero. Suppose this is a circle equation x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equals to zero. If the circle passes through origin, what happens? If you replace x coordinate as zero, y coordinate as zero, c is going to become zero. Constant should not be available if the circle passes through origin. If the circle passes through origin, 
constant should not be available in circle equation. According to this point, if you observe, there is a constant. There is a constant term. If there is a constant term, it should not pass through origin. If the circle passes through origin, constant term must be zero. Understand? If the circle passes through origin, constant must be zero. But here, constant term is existed. So that it should not passes through origin. So, first option rule out, second option rule out. Then let's go with remaining two options, right? If you observe, what is the center of this given circle? What is the center of this given circle? 2G is minus A, 2F also minus, 2G is minus 2A and 2F also minus 2A. Then, G value is minus A, F value is minus A. So, center equals to minus G comma minus F, no? What is that? A comma A. A comma A is the center. A comma A is the center. Now, tell. Tell me. It is touching coordinate axis. It is touching coordinate axis. See. I am drawing our required diagram touching x axis and touching y axis. At which points this circle is touching? The center is a comma a, no? Just before we got. Center of the circle is a comma a. Then, what is this distance? Vertical length, radius. How much according to this point? a only. And this length also representing radius of the circle. According to this point, this length is how much radius? That is also equals to A. So that this length is A. This vertical length is A. This is a point on x-axis. On x-axis, y coordinate is 0. And x coordinate is A. A comma 0. And this point is 0 comma A. Is it clear? So, our circle touching coordinate axis at the points a comma 0 and 0 comma a. Got it all of you? Are you following? Right? Keep it up. So, what is the right choice? Option C is the right choice. Okay, guys and girls, let's move on to next question. What he has provided? The intercept of the circle x square plus y square plus 4x plus 8y minus 5 equals to 0 on x axis is on on x axis is on x axis is the intercept made by the circle on the x-axis. What is that formula? Direct question, it is very simple. Intercept made by the circle on x-axis is 2 root over g square minus c that you know well. What is 2g? x square, x coefficient is 2g. How much it is, Veda? x coefficient is 4 and constant is minus 5. What else? G equals to 2 and C equals to minus 5. Substitute the value. Substitute these values in this expression. G square 4 minus of minus plus 5. That remains 2 into root 9. That remains 2 into 3. That is 6. Clear? So, option C is the right choice. Simple question, no? Just based on concept. No need to go through logics, right? Chalo, come on. Let's go with fourth question. The intercept made by the circle with center 2 comma 3. He here he has provided center of the circle and radius of the circle. And what is the intercept made by the circle on y-axis he is asking, right? Got it? Chalo, here center is... Let us assuming that it is h comma k and this is r. What is the circle equation? 
x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Chalo, what's the values? H ka mark hai? x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 6 square. What else? Go on simplification. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 plus 9. 13 equals to 36. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y minus 23 equals to 0. Here, uh, you, you need to find out intercept made by the circle on y axis, right? So, what's the formula? You need to confirm the value of 2 root over x square minus c. Here, simply find out 2f value. 2f value is how much? y coefficient and constant is minus 23. So, f is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is 9. Minus of minus plus 23. What it is? How much it is? 29, 32. So, 16. 16 twos are means 4 root 2. That is 8 root 2. Simply, are you enjoying? Option C is the right size. Okay. Is it clear all of you? I think you are going through very easy understanding ways. Okay, keep it up. Okay, my dear rankers, so this question, the center of the circle passing through the origin and making intercepts 8 and minus 4 on x, y axis respectively. What you need to confirm? He has provided intercept made by the circle on x and y axis provided and simultaneously our required circle passes through origin also. Then in these circumstances you have to confirm the coordinates of center. Right? Hello guys. So let us say our circle is our circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 and this circle is passing through origin if it passes through origin what happens constant term is going to become 0 confirmed and according to given data, x intercept is how much? x intercept is given as 8 and y intercept is given as how much y intercept? minus 4. Right? Chalo? x1 here 2 into root of g square minus c value is 0. It remains 2 4 is a right here it remains 4 only and then after this 2 2 is a right root over f square c value is 0 it remains minus 2 now squaring on both sides g square equals to 16 okay and f square equals to how much f square equals to 4 got it what is the center g equals to plus r minus 4, f equals to plus r minus 2. That remains g comma minus g comma minus fr plus r minus 4 comma plus r minus 2. According to four options, you have to choose a point, right? You have to choose a point. This is going to become minus r plus beta. Minus r plus minus r plus y. It is already negative, no? By squaring on both sides, f square equals to 4. After sending square that side, root over 4, it remains minus r plus. So, it gives you plus 4 and minus 2 and minus 4 and plus 2. 